Hey guys, gonna make a video on setting up a just a normal chart with a DOM attached here on this right side of the chart. So right now I just opened a blank chart and have ES opened. Um, I'm gonna change this to a five minute just because. Um, so what I'm first gonna do is I have a color scheme kind of already picked out and I'm going to change the candles to match that and then we are also going to have the DOM match that. So first thing I'm going to do is go to chart graphic settings and turn off this so it's not using the global settings anymore. And then I'm going to scroll down and we are going to figure out the candlestick coloring. So the up candles, I'm going to have them be blue and I'm going to have the outline be slightly lighter than the fill color. So 44, 140, 153, and then I'm gonna do the fill color and it's going to be slightly darker. It's gonna be 50, 103, 113. And then for the down candle, we are gonna just do a normal red. Um, the outline's gonna be 47, 22, 33. And I'm gonna try to use these colors throughout um, for the DOM as well so that it matches. And then I'm gonna do a darker fill color, 134, 20, 30. And this isn't gonna show, because I still need to go up here to chart and graph draw types and change it to candlestick. So there we go, now we have a bit of a slick looking chart. Um, I like these colors so far. And yeah, it looks good so far. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna to go to trade and um, trading DOM on. So what this does is this adds the DOM to the chart. So normally we would either have it disconnected or we would do this and have it connected to the actual chart. So this way, anywhere the chart goes, um, the DOM is gonna come with it. And also gonna just do some styling changes, change this to remove the title bar. Um, doesn't really matter, but eventually if you ever have more than one chart and you have them on one page, um, it looks a lot more clean, just like this. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to arrange this how I want and then I'm gonna mess with the colors. So we're gonna to wanna to go to here to trade and customize chart trade DOM columns. So here we go. Um, from top to bottom, it is from left to right. So I like price on the very left, so I'm gonna put it at the top, since the top is the left side. And then in between the bid and the offer, I like to have the recent bid volume and then the recent ask volume. So the bid volume, I'll move down. So it's just to the right of the bid, and then I'll move this so it's to the right of that. So we have price on the left, the, the, the bid, and then we have the um, recent prints on the bid and the ask, and then we have the offer. So I'm gonna change it to that. And, and then I'm also going to add the current traded bid and ask volume as well. And these are gonna go to the far right. So the ask volume, the current traded ask volume is gonna go very far right, and this one's just gonna go just to the left of that. There we go with that. And then I'm going to change the alignment. So it looks like the alignment on here is the right and the alignment on here is left. I like these to just be centered. So I'm gonna change those. So now these are gonna show up as centered. I think the rest are already centered. And then I'm also gonna add a um, volume bars. So on this one, I'm gonna have it do the left. And then on the offer, I'm gonna have it on the right so that they're um, opposite facing and then same thing here I'm um, gonna kind of have them both be mirrored so this the bid volume is going to be to right aligned and then the other is going to be left aligned and that will create that um, I'm going to go out of here and kind of zoom in a little bit so we can kind of see what's happening here so so here we go so now we have this um, but it's just a plain red the red blends in with the volume bars and same with the green, um, which we don't want. And then also this volume here is gray, 
which we also don't want. We kind of want it to be separate colors and then we want the um, um, contrasting to be able to see that. So I'm gonna go back here into the graphic settings and below all of these settings, we will get into the um, DOM settings. So you can see here, it starts with the chart DOM. Um, so first thing I wanna do is I'm going to go here to the um, by column lines. We're gonna change this to a very light blue. Right now it's a green. So it's gonna be kind of a turquoise-ish blue. 66, 217, 200. Um, and you'll see how that shows up right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the cell column. I'm just going to do 225 for just like a bright red. And that won't change it much. Um, and then we are going to change the quantities. So for the quantity coloring, I'm gonna want these to be um, like ver the brightest color and then the volume bars will be a little bit darker. So for the ask depth, I'm gonna make it opposite. I like the ask to be red as those are sellers. And so we're gonna change that. I'm gonna go here and we're gonna copy the outline uh, numbers. 147, 22, 33. And then for the bid depth quantity, I'm going to do the outline we had for the blue candles, which is 44, 140, 153. So now that we have that, we have those colors. Now we're gonna scroll down and we're going to find the volume bars here. So we will go down um, and let's find this bid volume bar. So the chart DOM bid volume bar. So this is what we want to be slightly darker blue, which I'll find here. Um, we may change it depending on how the contrasting looks as we want them to be contrasting enough so that the colors look better. So it looks like it's not contrasting enough to me. So I'm going to find a darker shade to make sure that it is um, popping. There we go. So I just changed it to 40, 70, 75. So that looks fine to me. I'm gonna keep that. And then now we are going to do the um, ask volume. So this one, I'm gonna try to just skip ahead and do a very dark red since we ended up having to adjust the other one so that it pops a little bit. If this doesn't work, we'll just darken the color a little bit. So there we go. That looks like it's not dark enough or the other thing isn't bright enough. I'm gonna just create this darker. So I'm gonna subtract like 20 from each of these numbers. So 102, zero, seven, and see how that works. Okay. I think I'm just gonna make the uh, red for the numbering a bit brighter and that will kind of help with the visibility of it. So we'll find the quantities for here and I'm going to add like 30 to each of these. So 177, 52, 63. That should make it a bit brighter and that will make it pop a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And then also I'm gonna change this um, by column to blue so it doesn't look like um, a green anymore. So that would be here, the by order quantity text. And we're gonna change that to this color. So six, 217, 200. We got like a turquoise blue to kind of match this outline. And now what we're gonna wanna do is get these colors changed. So this would be the recent bid volume and the recent ask volume. So recent bid volume, um, since this is a cell, I'm going to make this be a red. Let's go 177, 52, and then 63, kind of like we changed the other colors to be. And then for the ask volume, 
I am going to do um, one of the blues that we had before. So let's go 44, 140, 153. So there we go with that. And now we're gonna to wanna to change these current um, volume to show the background. And so we're gonna kind of uh, do similar to what we have here for these colors. So current traded bid volume volume bar. Um, so since this is bid volume, it's sellers selling into the bid and I'm going to display that as red. So let's go 10207 like that. Got that and then for the ask volume bar, we are going to do Let's do the dark one. Let's do 40, 70, 75. And now this will go in and change the screen here. So the current traded um, ask volume here, we're gonna wanna change that to be the lighter blue. 44, 140, 153. So now that we have that done, we're gonna add a little bit more um, styling. So I wanna have the, um, have some horizontal lines. And so to get the horizontal lines, what we're gonna wanna do is go up here to separator lines, click enable. Um, this will create separator lines um, coming down and then we'll eventually add the lines going across. I'm gonna change this to solid and I'm gonna change it to black. So I actually have the background slightly lighter than black. So these will show up slightly. Um, now that we have that done, um, we can go and change a few things. I'm gonna change the font to size eight or 10. I'm gonna try 10 first. And that looks good there. And then the chart text, I'm going to match that. So I'm gonna put 10 as well. And these, uh, the sizing, the DOM is here. And then for the non-DOM or for the scale, it will be the chart text. So if you want them both to match, then you're gonna have to do that. So now we have those matching. I'm gonna hit apply and hit okay. And I'm going to double click for each of these um, up here at the top to make sure this they're um, the same size or, or at least they're adjusted to um, the sizing that's needed so they're not taking up too much space. So now that we have that done, um, it looks pretty solid so far. I'm gonna change this white to be a gray here on the scale. So I'm gonna go back to the graphic settings and the Scale text, I'm just gonna choose 192, 192, 192. Um, some of these um, lighter grays, which I think will match with um, the chart a bit better. And then we will change the scale border as well. There we go. So, Okay, so that looks good so far. And then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that when a when volume is hitting the bid or the offer that it is coloring the background because that way we can see a little bit where the price is um, here on the DOM and what the most recent action is there. So we're gonna to wanna to find the um, last traded recent bid volume background here. Hit enable, same thing for um, the bid and the ask. So this way we'll see this. Um, I am going to probably leave this one the same. For the blue, we are going to want to add our own color since it's greens at the moment. So I'm gonna add this um, darker blue. We'll see how that looks. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker to match. there and then I'm gonna make I'm 
actually going to change this um, and make it dark as well since we made dark for the other one. There we go. So now we have the DOM here. We can execute here on the DOM on the side of the chart. And then we have the total volume at the bid and the offer and all of that jazz. So I think this looks pretty good or just pretty clean, um, pretty simple. Um, and that's pretty much it. It should be pretty easy. Just change the chart colors and then all of it can be found in the graphics settings under chart DOM once you have that set up um, and get familiar with um, which ones correspond with what.